Here's the deck I'm going to be using. This deck got me from 3,000 to 4,000 trophies in the Goblin League, so I totally recommend using it as it is an amazing deck. But anyways, let's get right into it, you guys. All right, going to this first one, we're reversing Seal. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure. But this deck is really tried. It's really meant to be played as a super spam deck. You place Goblin Gang, you place Spear Goblins, you place Normal Goblins, and you just try to get rid of their cards while also trying to attack. All right, so I'm just going to go Goblin Cage here for that Goblin Cage. And then I'll just go goblins for his dynamite guy. Go spear goblins over here. Go dark goblin. Can't log that actually. It didn't get a hit anyway, so we're all good. And we could just kill that goblin giant really easily. And then that's going to get a push on the right side. Then I'm going to push the left side so he has to deal with both now. He might have logged for it though. Or he's just going to give me the damage. Like this is how, this is how the deck is really uh, supposed to be played in my opinion. Or like at least how I made it to be played. Alright, so I'm just going to go goblin cage up front there. Yeah, it's going to kill that guy anyways, and kill the Dark Goblin too. But this deck is just like super spam heavy, plus it's an all Goblin deck for the placeable troops, so you get your Goblin Queen ability really, really fast. Alright, so I might just do a double push here. I might just go Goblin Giant right there, and the normal Goblins on the left side. Oh, well played. He goes Valkyrie. And I could just go Spear Goblins right here. Yeah, so he's going to kill my stuff on the right side right now. I'm just going to wait to see if he plays anything else. Oh, I did activate my King Tower there, though, so that is quite nice. I'm going to go Dark Goblin right there. Oh, I placed it a little too close. It's all right, though. He uses Golden Knight ability. I'm just going to wait for that before I use uh, the Goblin Gang. He did some good damage to my tower, but I also did some decent damage to his before. Yeah, one Spear Goblin lock onto the tower. We got some damage. Usually for the wall breaker, or not wall breaker, the dynamite guys, I either go goblins or um, goblin cage right next to him. Damn, that one dark goblin did some pretty good damage. Well, I usually go goblin cage right next to him because then obviously he just runs into the goblin cage like that when he explodes. All right, so I do have my king or my queen ability almost, so I'm gonna go spear goblins and I'm just gonna. Oh, I should have used that dark goblin to get rid of that uh, goblin cage, but my goblin brawler actually killed his. And I'm just gonna go goblin giant on the right side now. I'm just gonna push both sides an equal amount, honestly. Or try to. But my, my Dark Goblin is actually able to kill that Valkyrie, so that is going to be really nice. Then look at that. I have a push on the right side doing a bunch of damage, push on the left side doing tons of damage. We're gonna take both towers here. This, I, I kid you not, this is how so many of my games went. This deck is so amazing for dual lane pressure if you play it well. Alright, so he goes Evo, uh, what's it called? Evo Goblin Giant. I'm just gonna log that now because he did place his Dark Goblin, so should be able to log that too. Then look at this. Even if he tries to push now, we all we have our babies. We have so much down. I would win this match if he didn't place anything, but we we're gonna win anyway. So we're gonna go to the next one, you guys. All right, going into this one, we are versing Whoop Pass. <laughs> I think he's trying to pronounce it a different way, but we'll see how this goes. This guy's level 13, and also you guys, freaking the Goblin um, Trophy Road is really really easy to get up on trophies because they changed it, they updated it. So when you lose on Goblin Trophy Road, even if you're 3,500 trophies, you literally lose like five trophies. And it's insane because you win like 30. So it's pretty easy to level up regardless of how your deck is. So, but I feel like this was the best deck for me out of like maybe all the games I played from 3,000 tro from 3,000 trophies to 4,000, I must have won 90% of them. And I kid you not, like this deck is just so viable and so good if you're able to do a dueling pressure. I could have won Evo, uh, what's it called? Evo Cage right there, but it's alright because I do have some stuff down. Alright, now I'll go Evo Cage because that Goblin Giant killed all my stuff, or he killed all my stuff with the arrows. Alright, but I do have my Queen ability here, so once that Goblin Brawler pops, or he get, gets close to popping, I'm actually going to go Goblin Giant at the bridge. Also, if you guys don't know, if you have Goblin Giant and you go Goblin Giant at the bridge, while your Queen ability is up, you're going to see the tower actually locks on to the Goblin Giant before the babies get there. So that is a really good tip and just really good for helping out. Because you guys can see that one baby actually was able to get a bunch of damage. Alright, I'll just go goblins in the middle just to help out with those goblin babies. Is a brawler's coming up. I'm actually going to go goblin gang in the middle. Look at the damage on the left side from my freaking goblin giant. That was a ton of damage. Oh, his brawler didn't freaking uh, die sadly. I'll just go cage right next to it. I could go dark goblin too. Dark goblin's another good counter for uh, the dynamite guy. But we're gonna see what else he places. My brother's gonna walk up. He's gonna have to play something for that. Goblin Machine. I don't know why people go Goblin Machine. Like, this guy is a little underleveled as we got. Well, not a little. <laughs> a lot of his stuff is underleveled, but 
That's also because so many people just play this game mode because uh, it's pretty easy to level up in, so why not? You go Sparky, well played. I Sparky's my one thing that I don't have exact big counters for, especially if they have something like um like poison or something. Like if they have poison, I literally like have nothing for Sparky. All right, but that Sparky's gonna get the first hit off of on the uh, baby, so yeah, I'm actually able to kill that Sparky right there. And my Goblin Giant is actually doing major work on the King Tower. I'm actually gonna place the Dark Goblin to get rid of that Dynamite guy. I mean, we did a lot of damage to his King Tower. I'll just do a Goblin Cage here, honestly. Oh, he plays Sparky. I should have played Goblin Cage. I'm actually. Uh, I was gonna say I'll do a bit of. It. Mm. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna do this risky play or not. Oh, his Sparky got one hit on the tower, are you joking? Alright, it's alright. I just wasn't paying attention to it. He's not gonna win this game, just because I can, like, <laughs> win this pretty well. I actually just go Goblin Giant on the left side and just full rush here, because he's gonna have to deal with that and not be able to rush anyway, so we should be able to win this right here pretty easily. Yeah, this is GG's, and the babies might actually... Oh, uh, no, I was gonna say, they might help take the tower, but... Almost, but we're gonna go to the next game, you guys. Alright, going into this next one, we are reversing Fabargale? I don't know. Alright, so let's see what the deck this guy has. Hopefully it's not anything too bad. Yeah, some decks obviously do counter the goblin decks like really heavily. Alright, so I go I'm gonna go goblin giant up front here, just distract that uh Mega Knight, then I'll go Dark Goblin here. And the Spear Goblins are gonna help out nice. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go I did not mean to do log on that side. Oh he plays Goblin Gang anyway. Okay, I'm happy about that log. Holy crap, that was scary. I, like, completely misplaced the log on that Dark Goblin at first. That's why I just, like, hushed up. <laughs> but... That actually went nice, because he went as Goblin Gang. So I actually did get value out of that log. But this guy does have Mega Knight, so I gotta remember that. But Mega Knight also does get countered by my Evo Goblin Cage. So I'm actually gonna go Evo Goblin Cage here, just so I can start off the cycle. I'm gonna go go normal Goblins here. I feel like a lot of people either play something way too over elixir or just panic when they see those goblins because it literally gets the same amount of damage as a goblin barrel would yeah look it did like 600 damage it gets four hit it gets four hits in total from all goblins all right, i'm gonna go goblin giant on the right side just because uh i can start another push on the right with my babies yeah and he's like not going to be able to really support his goblin giant right here so i should be able to kill that pretty easily and take out the tower with the babies on the left side Nice. Okay, he does go uh, Mega Knight, so I do gotta kind of be prepared. My goblins from the freaking Evo Goblin Giant Evo are doing so much damage to that Mega Knight, though. So I'm actually really happy about that. I'll go Goblin Giant or Goblin Cage right next to this Mega Knight. I'll go Spear Goblins, Normal Goblins. Uh, I could have used my Log there. Probably. Well, I don't know. I just used like a lot more than I should have, but it's all right. I just didn't want to waste my log. Not, it would have been a waste, but I didn't want to use it in case he had something else that I need a log for in the future. Um, I'm gonna go Goblin Giant with that. Yeah, now I'll use log. Oh right, yeah, this is kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie. Babies are going down. Babies should help kill that dynamite guy though. Oh, he's gonna run to the tower. All right, yeah, they're not gonna take my tower with that push. I can actually get another evil goblin giant down if i really wanted to but i'll just go goblin gang in the middle or in the pocket i mean just to help out oh my god yeah we're taking that tower let's go oh my god the king tower is so low too holy i think we're taking the king tower right here too because the babies are gonna spawn in i'm just gonna like, kill his dark goblins right there there's dark goblin and megan tonight what did i just say megan tonight <laughs> all right megan Knight. all right there we go Alright, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just remembered I showed you guys the deck at the start of the video. And nice, I got a freaking gem chest or whatever it's called. Uh, one of the good or one of the best chests for the Goblin uh, Trophy Road. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. It is free and you could always change your mind if you want to. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day, you guys.